Hi everybody, uh, Keith here. Mark's behind the camera, and we're uh, we're gonna do a we're gonna do another watercolor. It's a uh, it's gonna be a, a snowy field, and uh, we have a lot of those in Michigan. And uh, my buddy Paul, he likes to go out all the time and uh, look for deer. And uh, one of these days, I'm gonna paint one of these for him with a tiny, tiny little deer in the background because I don't know how he sees the darn things, but he he can pick them out pretty good. Anyway, um, I'm gonna start with the uh, with the sky. Uh, I'm gonna wet the background here real quick. And I'm gonna do the whole sky. I'm gonna go all the way across. All the way down to that horizon line to the all right. So I'm just get it wet. Got my big boy brushes on today. <coughs> oh no, it's smearing your pencil. Yeah. Nah. Maybe. Just trying to dissolve it a little bit. So um, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start with a uh, little ultramarine blue. I'm gonna pull that out on the palette, and I'm going to add to that a little bit of raw sienna. What that does is it. I don't know what. It kind of grays it down a little bit, so it isn't quite so uh, bright a blue. What's that noise? I don't hear anything. Are you doing presents? Are you, <laughs> are you packaging presents up as we... All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm adding this color. Wow. That dried quick. Huh. You didn't turn the heat down, did you? Nope. We're going for it. Wow, I cannot believe. What am I, over a heater? <laughs> nope, you're just full of hot air, sir. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Wow. So I'm varying up the sky a little bit. This is going to be a tree line coming across here. So let me just get the rest of the sky kind of in there. That or I'm on an incline, right? And everything is just flowing to one side of the paper. You didn't level your table before we started? No. no. <clears throat> that requires skills. Artist. Oh, that's why I suck at art. I'm good at everything else. Yeah, there you go. All right. So I'm adding a, just a little bit more. Wow. That was just a hair too much of the raw sienna. There we go. And all I'm going to do is just punch up a couple areas. And just try to make the sky a little more interesting without killing ourselves. All right, so there we go. So it's not the brightest of days, but it's not as dark as it can be. So in this corner, I am going to make it a little bit darker behind the trees there. And it will become apparent as I keep working. All right. So at this point now, I want this to kind of dry up a little bit. This is also the time that 
you kind of watch this background make sure it's doing what you want it to do yeah okay so this dries fairly quickly I think um, so you can see it's very shiny by the tree there but the rest of it isn't quite so bad. So I'm going to go ahead and start this uh, tree line. I'm going to take, again, a little bit of the ultramarine blue. Um, this time I'm going to use the burnt sienna. And I'm going to kind of start this tree line. So I'm going to put the color kind of right at the right at the horizon there I'm gonna let it just kind of move up <coughs> as we get close as I get closer to these trees I want it to get bigger and taller and then at this end not so much I swear to God. All right, what's he have to do with anything? Uh, I don't know if you can hear it, but she's putting up Christmas lights. Oh, no, I can't make it out. Good, okay. So I don't want to deny her Christmas lights. No, just a dog. Yeah, <laughs> deny her the dog. All right, so my horizon's coming up here, or my uh, tree line is coming up. So we're going to do this in a couple layers, or a diff maybe a diff couple coats. Maybe we'll put it <clears throat> that way. All right. So... Looks like I need a little bit more. Again, burnt sienna, ultramarine blue. Today I am using the Daniel Smith pan paints. I've gotten to be quite a fan of the pan paints. It's just <laughs> easier to carry easier everything quite honestly not sitting around with a hundred uh, pounds of tube paint all right mr. mark I can hear you though what are you, what are you making over there I'm opening some packages I'd got in sorry I'm multitasking uh, I've already seen this part of the episode, so. <laughs> Stick with me. Yeah, any minute now. So, anyway. I'm taking this uh, much darker color now, this burnt, a little bit more of the burnt sienna with the uh, ultramarine blue. I'm just kind of Adding a little more color to our, our our tree line in the back. And as you can see, I kind of just I want them to look like trees, so I let it come up. go much higher than that over here I want to keep it low all right so at this point I have to kind of let this dry up so it'll stop 
going up. Huh. I can't believe this. I'm pausing for a second. She's just rattling around uh, on the windows there. Yeah. So it's okay. We can let this dry a little bit. All right. Said I had to, um, I did have to uh, let it dry. So, oh, that looks better. Yeah, yeah, it definitely looks better than the other one. <clears throat> okay. She's getting there. <laughs> Hmm. All right. So we did. We had to pause for a second. I'm back. Um, it's still damp, okay? Because I don't want it to dry completely. Um, but I did want it to soak in. I wanted it to be not as wet. And what I'm going to do is add just a little bit of a little bit of violet now uh, to our to our tree line, and that is. I like to make my own. I use the ultramarine blue and the magenta. I just want to add a little of this color also. Just to make it just makes it a little more I think a little more interesting if we have more than two colors, right? Usually. Although I do want to watch you do a black and white watercolor painting. Actually, it's easier than you think. All right. Okay. Smear it out a little bit. We let that kind of blend together. Now you can see we've got a bit of a forest line. Um, I'm going to add just a little uh, burnt sienna to this now, here and there. This will be our shrubbery. Small trees and bushes in the front. There we go. All right. So, at this point, I do have to let it dry because I need to uh, get around my tree. I need to pull my tree out of the background, uh, my foreground tree. So now we got to let that sit for a little bit. And uh, well, we just let things sit. I am thinking what I can do is <laughs> while that's while that's drying up there, I can be. Uh, perhaps doing a little bit on the bottom here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in um, my my grasses uh, that I want kind of poking out of the snow because uh, it wasn't a real heavy snow. How's that? Yeah, it makes sense. All right. So I'm going to grab out some of the raw sienna. And a little bit of the burnt sienna. And then a little more of the raw sienna. Okay. And what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to kind of just drag it across my paper. And I'm not trying to really do like an exact thing. I just, I'm kind of pushing color down just so that this is where the sticks and twigs will come out of. And it also will kind of fill in the, fill in the back where all the, where the grasses are. So here's one. 
do a little one over here maybe well you know you were gonna Keith we can see it it's, it's drawn right there there's a little and you don't have to be too serious about this it's, it's <laughs> I don't think you can do it wrong Oh, you haven't seen me play that. <laughs> but what I mean is, you know, you're just you're just dragging some color across, and if it varies a little bit in values and stuff, that's kind of cool. Um, now I'm going to come up closer to this little uh, fence line I've created, and also under the tree, I think I'm going to go ahead and. Put this color in. But there'll be more to it as I get going. All right, so. <laughs> and then I like to just kind of We'll drag a little bit of, I don't want all the grass to be together. I don't want all the snow to be in big chunks. So that's why I kind of like breaking it up a little bit. That's what I'm doing here is to, but as I get farther away, you can see that the chunks of brown, that sounds terrible, um, get thinner and farther back, okay? So as I get farther back, they're not going to be as big. So you're seeing just little streaks now. So I'll leave that, I think, right about there for... Oh, uh, wait. I'm going to come up. I think I need a little more here. All right. All right. Very good. Um, at this point, wow. I cannot believe how fast this paper is drying today. I think I need a little humidity in my house. Did you say humility? That's still damp there. So I can't mess with that quite yet. But see these trees here? I'm gonna I'm gonna drop a little uh, a little color like there's some leaves still hanging on. Early winter. How's that? So we're talking about we've already got a foot of snow. I'm just going to come in. Now this is uh, you can see that as I put it down, it's dry. It's not moving. So wherever I put my leaves, that's where they're going to stay. But what I want to do too, though, is I don't want it all hard like that. So I'm going to take some water and just break it up a little bit. Have it come so it isn't all real sharp lines or anything. One of my brushes was trying to escape. All right. So do maybe down here. So you can see the color varies a little bit. This is, uh, I'll just add a little bit more of a wash of color. Notice how I leave a little bit of that sky in there. Don't kill it all. But what will happen is the more foreground trees, and you'll see in a minute once I get going, will be the, the, the leaves will be a little stronger colored. Have a little more value. All right. We got quite a bit of quite a bit of color in there now. We're gonna pause at that point. So I got this, this, this. The only thing I'm waiting on <laughs> is right in here. It's like this area refuses to dry. So 
tell you what we're going to do. I'll do a little more of the foreground. Now at this point, I, I end up making like lots of different browns just to create my sticks and twigs and grasses. I just got to figure out how heavy. So what I do is I'll come in and they're not real fine yet. It's still just chunky color. Swaps of color now. Because I'm trying to break up the the lights and darks in this that first pass. Whee. All right, sorry guys. <laughs> oh boy. Yep. Whoa. To me, it's uh, the best thing you can do is figure out what's the most comfortable direction to pull. Pull your brush. Hmm. All right. So I got that. That. And that. Okay. Oh no. I think I will just come in here. Now these are farther back, so I'll just make thinner strips of color. Of color. I don't know. Did you ever see the Wonderful World of Disney um, when you were a kid? Probably a couple times. Why? No, I'm just curious where it cut off, you know what I mean? <clears throat> that was such a part of, you know, there was only three ch channels when I was a kid. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm sure World. I'm sure mine were syndicated reruns, but Oh. Now Disney owns everything, so pretty close. But it was kind of fun back then. I think it's interesting that Disney owns everything now, and now they're crying more than ever that they're not making as much money as they think they should. <laughs> what do you got to do? Um, anyway. So, I have gone in. I've kind of roughed up with a little more color. I'm leaving this alone right now because I'm still trying to get uh, that going. Is I think this painting makes more sense uh, when I do. Anyway, so it is almost ready, but in the meantime, what I'm going to do is grab a little more color. Now it's mostly, I'm working with uh, mostly the uh, burnt, the burnt sienna. Now I'm going to take and start doing my fine lines, my, my grasses. And with a good brush, man, you can really do nice work. So, and what I do, what you don't want to do <laughs> is you don't want your grass to go, da, 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 you know, perfect. Um, We tend to be symmetrical. We tend to make things, uh, what do you call that? I, yeah, we create patterns. Pattern, yeah. So what I'm trying to do is, when I do these little strokes, I vary the angle so that they're not all going, you know. Now I, I have them kind of blow into one way, definitely. Uh, the other thing that makes me a little crazy is uh, when the people do the grass and they, and it's like they do a fan of, of, you know, lines all the way across. Don't do that. 
Well, you obviously haven't seen how well my neighbor manicures his lawn because that's yeah, what it looks well. like in real life. But as you can see, now we're starting to get a little more, a little more detail in the foreground. I also have to get, I think or feel, a little bit darker too. So maybe just a little more value here and there. And in some areas you'll kind of do fine line and other areas you want to kind of just kind of enrich, enriching. <laughs> God, I need a dictionary. All right, so that's pretty heavy what I just did, but I am gonna, I am gonna play with it a little bit. Soften it up. There. Now here's the fun part. I need to clean this off real quick because this is a mess. Use big brushes, you get a lot of water in your tray. Yep. If you only had a thing that could soak it up. Like a towel do, or something. But it's it's, it's over there. Give me a sec. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, I'm back. There we go. So, just wanted to give myself a little work area here. Could have stopped the camera. Nah. All right. So, again, uh, I'm going to... I'm going to use the ultramarine blue and the burnt sienna. I'm getting me a pretty dark color here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a darker area behind this tree. But I also kind of want to make the I have a main tree here that I kind of want to make it stand out a little bit so rather than just paint a big dark tree there I'm going to have this be I'm painting the negative space behind it is basically what I'm doing so I'm gonna go ahead and get that going. This does represent the tree line behind us. Should be getting taller and bigger behind us because it is getting closer. So add a little more blue to this because this looks awful brown. I just kind of want to get into this tree. There. All right, now, a little burnt sienna. I just want this area to be a lot darker. These are the shrubs and stuff that are kind of before the wood a little bit. The wood, the tree line rather. Or the little scrubbier trees or whatever in front. Okay, so... And I know the tree looks a little odd, at, but this is just, I just got to get it in first and then we can play with it. All right, so now I'm going to take that brown, the, oops, wrong one. There we go. 
I'm just going to bring a little more of it down. So it's kind of shiny. It looks like it's hard to see, isn't it? A little bit. It'll Guess we got to wait for it to dry up a little bit. You'll be able to see. I'm just adding color. So like I said, the tree line now is like right up behind this, this uh, one tree right here. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start... putting a bit of a foreground here in front of this tree. I'll do that by kind of dragging some of this color down. darker sometimes I wonder if I'm I'm trying to paint and I'm just hoping I'm not like in the camera's way you would let me know right yeah uh, when, <laughs> when we can't oh. see anything I tell you all right So I'm just kind of breaking this up a little bit. Kind of put the paint down, then I put a little water down. I'm just kind of trying to blend this in a little bit into the background. It's starting to happen. And actually, what I'm kind of doing, if you look, I'm literally kind of just blending away the, the actual hard line that was there. Now, you see this white? I want to keep that there. And it's all wet. I'm left-handed. I can't really get in there for the moment. So, again, I have to let that dry. In the meantime, I can always be doing something else that'll prevent me from working in that area, right? Yep. So I'm just adding a little more here. All right, stay. Now, I think what makes this fun is when you start shadowing the the grasses. So I am going to go ahead, I'm going to use my ultramarine blue. I am going to use the the uh, raw umber to kind of gray it down a little bit so it ain't quite so happy. And I'm going to kind of come in here just under these branches and stuff Taking a little bit of color, pushing a little color here and there. And then we take our water. So we want it to feel like it's a bit of a shadow. Now this one up close is kind of kind of dark. But we don't want it to stay too dark. And what I like to do is then I'll take my ultramarine blue and just start breaking up the snow a little bit so it isn't quite all white white. 
let's face it, you know, it's not going to be smooth and even. on a grassy field. Alright. So I'm going to go in. Now at this point I'm going to do it. Wow. Add a little water. See how I I want to just drag in little bits of shadow into the into the snow. And right now I'm pretty much using just the ultramarine just to get my base in here. But suddenly it, it really helps turn this three-dimensional. All right. You just got to kind of picture what's under the surface there. It's rough. It's bumpy. Sometimes there's water, you know. standing water, whatever you want to call it. All right. I also like the feeling of it kind of drifting up against the, the grasses. And that's all I'm doing. It's just kind of dragging my brush. And I'll take a little bit of water kind of go in there again. All right. So. Huh. I am looking at the screen. I am looking at my picture. And it got really dark at the top here. And I'm just... Seeing if I can take down a little bit of it, just a little. All right. Looks like I can't. <laughs> it's on there real good. All right. So, but I think it is almost ready now. Go in and start working in this area. So, what I want to do is I'm going to use a little bit of indigo and the burnt sienna. That ain't it. Grab the wrong one. All right. Now I'm going to try the indigo. Is it this one? Yes. So I'm going to use a little bit of indigo, um, burnt sienna, indigo. What I want to do is I'm going to go in and kind of put all in some of those kind of brambly tree branches, dead stuff. And with a good thin brush, you can, good pointed brush, you can really have fun with this stuff so you can it's still a little wet so a little bit damp as we get a little farther up we kind of want them to kind of go into some of those branchy areas. Where we have the the vegetation the leaves, I'm sorry, branchy areas. All 
Okay. Just break these this one tree up a little bit. And again, find that comfortable spot. What do you think? Um, looks nice. Opinions? Looks nice. Well, that's better than the last one, right? Yeah. We had we had uh, we had an earlier rip version explode. I think what, wasn't that what it was? Something yeah, horrible happened. Yeah, just combusted. It was weird. Yeah. It was sad. I think it was a message from. Uh, Inspector Gadget or something. Yeah, it's like, hey, dude, slow down. So, again, I'm coming back in now with uh, a little more of the, the vegetation, uh, 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 the leaf color vegetation. I don't know why I'm on to vegetation today, but oh well. So all I'm doing some. is just dropping a little more color in here. And again, like I said, don't don't kill all your don't kill all the sky, which I'm trying to do at this moment. Do as I say. Sky's overrated. Yeah. But you need it for the the contrast. It it is kind of important. So Wow, that's that's starting to look like Michigan. Yeah, I think I drove past this farm. Jeez, uh, I lived on these farms every winter. Like I said, it was kind of. I mean, it's such a part of you know where I grew up. The. There'd be all kinds of hawks and, uh, you know, birds of prey on fence posts everywhere. And then, like I said, my buddy Paul and his his deer. Well, I don't know if I said it. Maybe that was that video that where the painting exploded. Um, but, yeah, it was... Uh, My buddy can spot a deer. He just loves, he loves them. So I'm going to paint him a tiny little deer way in the back 40. And only he will get the painting, you know. Mm -hmm. Everybody else will say, oh, that's just a painting of a, of a field. No, it isn't. There'll be deer in it and everything. A deer. A deer, just one. Find it. Where's Waldo? All right. So now I'm just trying to see where I'm at. Okay. Yep. All right. So part of what we got to do is also kind of get that blue, the shadows into the field a little bit. So that it does, you know, it's just. I think without that, it kind of doesn't look quite real. And 
then the other thing. Ooh. This looks like it could be a good spot. Now, you know, don't kill all your whites either. You want to, you need to leave some because that's your snow. The light blue is your, basically your, um, your shadows. All right, so a little more ultramarine, just plain. I'll tell you what, if you do this kind of smaller, make a great little card from Michigan, right? Wow. If we only had a way to make reproductions. <laughs> All right. So now we're getting down to trying to make the tree line look like a tree line. So I think it's dry enough. So, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I am dragging some, not super dark, because we don't want it to interfere with the front, with the tree in front here. Paul, can you, here, Paul. Uh, Mark, can you hear that? Um, no. I don't know. What no? You're... Yeah. Sounds like she's vacuuming now. Nope. Outside. <laughs> oh, yeah. We always got to vacuum your outdoor patio porch. It's probably... She's probably... She cannot defeat us. We will succeed. So, as you can see, what I'm trying to do is just kind of put in some... As you get farther down, they do got to get lighter and thinner. Okay? Okay. Until you get down here, then it probably doesn't really matter but then very finely just keep coming back in here and kind of making branches and stuff it starts to look like a carolina pine for it no no it's a different video all right um at this point this is where i like to kind of come in Add. So like I said, it's kind of early winter. There's still vegetation here and there. I'm just adding a little color. Now I'll take a little water and just kind of Soften it up a little bit, bring it right into there. All right. And just make it a little brighter. Then in the background here, you still you want to get some more branches up in here. Not not as dark, okay? As the first ones we did. 
I'm just trying to make it look like there's more trees in the behind here. Alright. I think I'm gonna do might as well just take it down a little bit more. You know what this painting needs? Uh, a deer? A little barn. A little what? Barn. A little barn? A little barn, little house. Yep, next time. Just off in the distance. All right, so I'm going to do a little more in here now that it's finally dried up. So this this has got to have a little a little more value in here. Really got to get this to darken up. All right. I don't know if you can. This could be hard to see. I think. If I'm trying to find a way. So you just want to kind of break it up with fine lines and I'm just trying to deepen this color in this corner so I keep going with a little darker color, a little brown, a little darker brown, a little, a little more, a little more, a little more. It's just something you gotta be a little patient. Don't, don't rush it. Notice how I leave that little white streak there. It's my little snowy horizon line. Just, just a patch of little patch of area here that didn't get snowed on very good. All right. So, all right. To me, one of the things that's going to make this kind of pop out and feel like a like a uh, a field are these I love these little fence posts can't be too big but you want them to poke just above the horizon line And I'm not going to try to put barbed wire on it because there's so much going on in here. I'm just afraid it would make a mess. So we have a purposeless fence line, right? I'm sure. Other than the purpose of creating depth in your painting. Yeah. Isn't it amazing what it just did? Mm -hmm. It makes the, the 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 background over here just go, you know. So anyway, I'm gonna come in, and I don't think there really is a a shadow. There isn't really any sun, but I like to maybe just get a little of that snow going. Little snow shadows. <laughs> All right. Then 
basically the rest of this is taking your time and just finishing up a little darker a few more oh that was way too hard all right there's the beauty of that I can make that disappear Try again. All right. Like I said, I really want this area kind of under this tree to be a little bit on the darker side. I think it's because I'm trying to focus to here. Then this little tree. I just want to soften it up now. shiny <laughs> kind of hit the top of my post all right so I think at this point what I'm doing now is mostly making grass. Like I said, I come in, I'll do vary the strokes a little bit so they're not all going the same. Make them a little longer, a little shorter. Always add a little water. Soften them a little bit. That is almost about it. Like I said, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll set them aside, look at them for a week. And then finish them up. Sometimes when you write on top of them for a while, and believe me, I don't usually knock out a painting real quick like this. This is like like adventure for me. Um, but I do. I like to have a little time to kind of study on them and uh, see what I can do to improve. Basically, all it is is you just keep making darker, at this point, darker and darker little lines here and there just to get enough value into the picture. All right.
Oh, that's God. Hmm. Tell you, I'm going to try something real quick. If I can find them. One sec. <laughs> this only slightly annoys me, so I really, I hope you don't mind, I'm going to try this. I just want to kind of knock off a little bit of that hard. Yeah. Just want to make it a little bit brighter I'm hoping just a little bit of ultramarine blue oh come on running out of space in my tray want to see if this will work. So I wanted to soften as it got farther along there. So Did I succeed? We'll find out. Yeah, it did. Okay, so. All right. What do you think? Did you leave? You did, didn't you? No. Come on. I just learned never to come between a man and his blending. No. Oh. I've heard of that, but all right. I'm gonna say let's call it quits here. I think you could get other color in that, you could have a little more fun with it, but I think you get the general idea. Now remember, as you get farther back, things get thinner, the lines get thinner. See how I got nice big chunks of a little farther, a little farther, a little farther, a little farther. It gets smaller, 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 smaller. That's how you're going to get your perspective. <laughs> okay? If you have big patches, you know, it's just, it, it won't, it won't flatten out. It won't get distant. So, um, I got to try this, too. And there goes all the paper. Yep. The unveiling. The unpeeling. This is a moody little thing. I think I will do something happy next time. We could do a Florida. A Robin, the ghost of Florida. That's it. Yeah. Well, I got one little mistake, but I'm not going to fix it now. Um, basically, I, I don't know what I did to my top of my pole there, but I would have to clean that up. But let's, let's, let's leave it like this, okay? Um, yeah. Yeah, and I like that I did pull a little of that. It, it makes it look like it's, it's kind of fogging out and getting a little farther back. Um, I love these little scrubby things. Awesome. Anyway, so I guess I'm done. Yay, done. Yay. <laughs> Mark can go home. Yay. Anyway, um, uh, anything else, Mark? Uh, Just as usual, guys, check the description of the video. There's links to all kinds of different stuff. And go check out the other videos if you haven't already. Uh, thanks for watching.
Yeah, take care. Thank you, Brett. Bye.